Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the inner world. So uh, this is going to be a new game on the channel. This is a, a, a cute little one that uh, was recommended to me by a friend of the channel. This here is uh, an adventure game, a point-and-click adventure game, a la Day of the Tentacle. And it's about a young being, shall we say, called Robert, who is kind of different. So if you've ever felt different, then I'm sure you'll get something out of this here. But I mean, that's about the extent of, uh, of what I know regarding this game. Uh, it does look good. It does, uh, from what I've seen and heard, sound absolutely brilliant. Uh, excellent voice acting and very quirky, whimsical music, i got to say. And uh, I'm just really happy to, to get stuck in and uh, see what this thing is about. So, without further ado, let us do it. So, uh, gonna be choosing Anglaise. Okay, let's do it. I'm not sure what play flute nose is. That's probably a little thing for us to just play our nose. But, um, anyway, time to get into the inner world. We'll be starting a new game, of course. Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast, spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed. But the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the Abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Well, not like his own son, of course. So this is us, Robert. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll call you Peck. <gasps> You're not allowed to take that. It belongs to Conroy. I polish it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. Okay. Does Conroy have? I bet you've seen a lot. Hmm? Anti. Being a pigeon. You petrify know, I've armor or something. Allowed to leave the palace because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the basilian oh, turns uh, you to stone, uh, it's your own uh, fault. Oh, these. Ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh. Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Hmm? Oh no, the pigeon! No! Uh oh. <laughs> no! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you! I'll save your pendant. No, Robert, boy, stay here! Guard! Bring me the hedgehog! <laughs> the hedgehog. Oh. 
I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Thieving pigeon. A thieving pigeon. Okay, welcome. Would you like to view an overview of the game controls? Yeah, show me. No. Uh, you can access the tutorial at any time under settings. Okay, that's good. Puzzle help, settings and tutorial. That is that is good. So if we need help, there is help. That's good to know. Okay, so now we can actually interact. There's uh, stuff here. Wanted poster, wind turbine. Uh, wood, wind sock. Well, yeah, let's go get... Come on, Pidgey. Come on, pigeon. See if we can grab it. Come here, birdie, birdie, birdie. Put, put. <laughs> Is that a golf that reference? Thieving pigeon. Uh, can we get the fish or something? That's too high for me. Okay, so I think I know what we've got to do. There's we've got a gotta... fish on the windowsill. There is. I wonder how it got up there. Um, let's try the crutch. Well, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyways. <laughs> That's, this, this guy, honestly. Um, okay, here. The windsock, can we do anything with that? Oh, great. My own windsock. Windsocks are awesome. Okay. Now, easy, I'm just going around here. I'm not exactly sure what to get. Um, let's see what the Conroy head does. Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. Oh, Robert, I'm sure you haven't done anything to be ups to upset anyone. Let's take a look at the worm. Can we pick the worm up? Oh. Slippery little... Oh, it's too fast. Okay, so... Hmm, a hole in the ground. Who dug that hole? And why? Where does it lead to? The world out there is full of secrets. Kid, that's a simple wormhole. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you, do you get it? I love the uh, double entendre here. Wormhole as in the hole of a worm, but also... Okay, a wanted poster? Don't take down the posters. Hmm. Uh, can we... Pick up the pile of garbage? I don't want any of those things. Why not? And what's a phosphos? A phosphos? Conroy hates phosphoses. I like them. They glow. I like light. What is a phosphos? It's interactive. It. The bottle? Let's take the bottle if we can. It's filled with fermented not terrine juice. How long has that been lying here for? <laughs> Smells like Tuesday. A year ago. <laughs> A year ago. Uh, okay, the wind turbine? No, it has to turn by itself. No, it has to turn by itself. Of course. Alright, let's talk with the garbage dealer. Hello, can you help me? That depends on what you need. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not me. Well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need garbage? Aha! You are a dealer in garbage. Okay, continue on conversation topic and talk about... Gar Let's talk about the pigeon. Oh no, we have to... What? I want to talk about the pigeon first. Can you help me? I have to catch that pigeon. Sorry, kid. If I leave my spot, everyone will steal my garbage. But who would... W I only see one potential suspect. Uh, let's talk about the garbage then. What do you sell here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Asposha. You sell stinking garbage? Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. Okay, let's see what he has. But that might be helpful. Let's inquire about that. What's that? 
It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great. That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few Aspororo, it's yours. Uh, what's Aspororo? Aspo ra ro ri Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's help is good and fine, so be nice and wait in line. You get all that for us, Porora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. Um, what's Asporo? I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for Esps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? <laughs> Thank what? you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted as potion I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, <laughs> I I'm very sorry for that. Thank you for the feed. Okay, that was good. But I wanted to ask him about the other things. Hel ah, you again. What else do you want? You already took my self-esteem. <laughs> I wanted to ask about the A. Uh, let's talk about... Again, concerning the garbage. Well... Stop begging. I won't give you any more for free. Can we... Uh, I wanted to ask about the letter. Oh, dear. The pigeon? How can I catch it? I have no idea. I'm selling garbage here, not answers. Hmm, okay, well, it doesn't look like... Again, concern... No, okay, it doesn't look like he's gonna say well, anything else. I guess I'll be going then. Okay. If you need garbage sometime, you know where you can find me. Okay, so it does look like we have picked the correct course of, uh, of action. Can we... No. We get to the menu. Alright, I'm not exactly sure how to get to our inventory, but... Okay, I'm sure we'll come to that in a bit. First thing, let's see about... And I thought it liked me. Let's in see about catching the pigeon. Come down from there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we just go down. Oh, okay. Um, what can we do? Bird feed with the pigeon? Hey, the bag is empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Uh, I can keep the thread. Okay, so we've got a thread. Um, what can we do with the thread? Can we use the thread with the worm? Do you need some thread? I don't think he needs some. Uh, can we use the thread with this broken... No, the thread would just come undone. Can we... Give the juice to the garbage dealer? He might give us something else? Kid, where did you get that from? Alcohol's against the law. Oh, I didn't know that. No, seriously, where did you get that bottle from? It's easier to get cyanide than that stuff. Um, okay, well, he doesn't want to tell us. That's fine. Wait a minute. What about... Corked bottle... Um... Can we give alcohol to the worm? 
Hi, Worm. You look thirsty. Okay. <laughs> All right, now Come let's get him. Here. The party's over. Voila. Okay, now. We have the worm. Can we give the worm to the pigeon? Why should I do that? Because we want to bring him down. Um, somehow with the worm with the windsock? That's just a random guess, isn't it? Okay, I suspect there's going to be a lot of this here. But... I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. Oh, okay, that worked. A slingshot? Okay. 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 Is this where this is going? Look at that. Loaded slingshot. So okay. What should I shoot at first? Should we shoot? Let's shoot at. We probably have to shoot at this here. Shooting at the bird would be too obvious. Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. There it is. Well, Worm, now you're free again. But I'll keep this cork. Okay, one sock. Okay, um, can we, can we make something if, if we... I tie the end of the windsock with thread. Yes, there we go. There we go. I'll have a great net. Okay, you know where this is going. You guys know where this is going, let's go. You can't escape. What do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint? You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? <laughs> I like his style. Peck, come here. <laughs> Tell Conroy that from now on, the winds are about to change. Huh. It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me! I have to find that pigeon. And the girl too. Especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Laura. Wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of Asposia, assault, chewing gum in public, enraging the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. Well, I think we have to go find Laura. Let's see if we can pick if up just the stuff. Here. And the old fish. It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. Can we use the net to grab it? Let's see. Well, I could, but I won't. Duh. Come on, I want the fish. How do we do it? Can I use the puppet to... I don't think that will work. Okay, do we not have... It looks like we don't have the means to pick up the fish, then. Uh... There's the wormhole. Pile of garbage. The pipe. Phosphos. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like we have the means to pick up the fish, so we should probably go follow Laura. I'm guessing we can come back for this if it's going to be a key item, right? Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, uh, wait, let's actually ask this guy. You might have some information about Laura? Hen. Ah, you again. What else do you want? You already took my self-esteem? Did you recognize the girl who just stole that pigeon from me? Hmm, maybe I know something. Yes? If I had a few aspens, I could tell you more about it. I guess I don't have any of those. Great, then I guess I just have to tell you. So it's rumored that she's an outlaw and a professed enemy of Conroy, the Great Wind Guardian. Conroy's enemy? Why would anyone not like Conroy? I have no idea. As long as he keeps the Basilians off my back, he gets 20% of everything in my store. <laughs> okay, well, that's, I suppose, useful. Um, okay, let's, yeah, let's go then. Well, I guess I'll be going then. Okay. If you need garbage sometime, you know where you can find me. 
Maybe we will need garbage sometime. But anyway, let's go to the streets with bars. Oh, there's that hedgehog. Alright, so this is the next area. This melody... It's familiar somehow. Hello. Hello, young man. I've never seen you here before. I'm new in town. Please. Who comes here voluntarily? Actually, I'm just looking for someone. Um, let's ask about the song, firstly. This song, it reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Okay, is that all she's gonna say? Let's ask about Laura. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Oh dear. Yes. At least you can rely on the bazillions. Jeez. Okay. Um. Is she you gonna say anything else? Is? I can tell you a thing. Of but knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Okay. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold. Or the hunger. Or the despair. Me. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you, you're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas, made from straw bear yarn, for my baby to wear. What? That's quite specific. Like, what? But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic strawberry yarn. But isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric? The fabric of nobles? The baby insists on it. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay then, a onesie made from strawberry yarn. Okay, um, anything else you can tell us about Can't it? Can't it be any other material? If you want the poor thing to keep freezing, is that what you want? No. Then you better bring me the onesie. Well, we wouldn't want it to freeze. Um, anything else about Laura? Can't you just point in the direction she went? If you can obtain a onesie for my baby, I will bring you there personally. Okay, that is the game telling us for sure like this is what you got to do to progress the story what's the baby's name conroy oh that's great you named it after the abbot you never know maybe that calms the bazillions i think the name suits him 
Thanks. It's a girl. <laughs> okay. I think there's more to ask Does about the really onesie. Does it have to be made from organic straw beer yarn? Does it really have to be made from organic straw beer yarn? Excuse me? I apologize, but it's hard for me to understand you over the baby's shivering. Oh, that's a burn. Anything else? I still couldn't find a onesie for the baby. What do you want, then? Uh, well, it doesn't look like she's gonna... Anything else about the song, maybe? Where did you learn the song you just sang? My mother. Where did she learn it? From her mother. Ah. From her I see. Okay. It was carried on the wind. Enough now. Enough indeed. Okay, so it looks like... Well then, goodbye. We need to find... Okay. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. Yes, we I do. I won't go home, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we've got stuff to do. Hey, the little baby. A tiny aspersion. How cute. Soon he'll be one of Conroy's happy people. <laughs> one of Conroy's happy people, I love that. Um, better not touch it. Babies hate me. Babies hate me. Um, no, we're not going to speak with her. A mother and her baby. I wish I had a mother, or maybe Aww. a baby, but I couldn't <laughs> even look after a rock root. Okay, uh, we can, can we go in here? It doesn't look very stable. Whoever lives here doesn't own anything worth locking away. Well, should we check inside it then? Let's do that. This door belongs to someone. I think it'd be rude to take it with me. Okay, well I'm guessing then we need to be going into the staggering phosphos. Uh, let's just look at everything. It's too high. Besides, We've gotta I look don't at everything. Need a huge sign right now. Well, actually, we could talk to that little boy, couldn't we? No, the cage is securely locked. Someone seems to think that the phosphos could get stolen. I would just borrow it for a minute. All right, then. So before we head into the bar, let's talk to the little boy. Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh. Friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Detza. Gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. Uh, what do you want? Pot? Pot? Oh, he's got a pot for on his head. The map? Let's ask about what that. What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. Oh, damn. Uh, Basilian's treasure? Let's ask about that. What is the Basilian's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes. What? Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. <laughs> Why would you try to break them? What? So, you're looking for the Bazillion's eyes? Yes! How many times do I have to tell you? If I'd had these stones, I could have turned Asposia's enemies into rock! Who are Asposia's enemies? Ha! It could potentially be anybody. Absolutely anyone. Okay, let's keep asking about the map. Are you sure that this is a treasure map? It looks like a knitting pattern to me. Oh, come on! Do I look like I can't tell a treasure map? From a knitting pattern? Yes. No, uh, yes. I mean, <laughs> of course. But, but I think that... Listen, I will tell you what I've been trying to tell my mom. And the judge. And the uncle who wanted to discuss my dreams with me. <laughs> if I tell you it's real, then it's real! Of course. This little kid's brilliant. Oh my word. Can I have a look at the treasure map? No! I want to find the bazillion's eyes! Okay. <laughs> This is great. Let's talk about the Phosphos. Is that your Phosphos? Yes, its name is Phos. I saved it. You did? How so? 
It was captured on Asposia's highest tower. Isn't Asposia's highest tower the lighthouse that doesn't shine anymore? Hmm. Yes, I remember Conroy telling me that the phosphos there had been stolen from the tower. Not stolen. Freed. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't it be easier to have another pet? Like a tiny, soft, tumble mouse? I used to have many tumble mice. But they always flew around all over the place. Oh, so they were blown away from you? They wanted to escape, but I stopped them. I see. And how did you do that? I stapled them to the ground. Oh. Oh. So they stayed. Oh. Yes, I also used to have two spindle pillars. They always wanted to crawl away too. Ah. Uh -huh. So I stapled them. <laughs> oh. I also had a wooloof. Oh no. Oh no. But it didn't want to stay either. Please don't continue. Yes, mom told me to keep my hands off the animals. Yes. And off staples. This little kid is Oh, he's Nowadays, brilliant. Nowadays, phosphos are rare animals. I know. That's why it was so hard to get this one here. Well, how did you get it then? Have you ever thought about adopting any pet other than a phosphos? Like what? Well, maybe one that's, um, a little more durable. Like a brick. <laughs> that's the one he wants. You should have a brick. Oh, what a nice pot. Did you just call it a pot? This helmet saved my life a million times. Like, like when I had to fight the root trolls. Uh-huh. How did you do that? Fire! Are you talking about that big fire two years ago? Otherwise, the root trolls would have destroyed all of Esposia. And the big flood extinguished the fire. You did that as well? If the question implies that I saved everybody's lives, the answer would be... Yes! This little kid is awesome. It's good that you have such a wild imagination. But don't you think your mum noticed her pot is missing? It's a helmet! It's made of steel aluminium! I still remember how I fought off the legendary Gorf army and how the Gorfs returned to the root forest. Does your mum know you're playing here all by yourself? Yeah, and she said if I wanted to, I'm even allowed to spend the night outside. That's... Um, understandable. Okay. <laughs> Is the pot, um, helmet bulletproofed? Unfortunately not. I tested it. How? I'm not allowed to talk about it until the trial. <laughs> this little kid. This little kid is absolutely quality. Oh, my days. Guys, well, this is... It. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. Debts. Hang on, let's just see if we can get the walking stick quickly. I'd better take it before someone steals it. Okay, good, good. And, yeah, there's, I, I mean, there's a lot of stuff for us to be looking at here and inspecting. We've got debts to talk to here, but we know what we have to do next. We have to go find that lady's baby's uh, onesie, of course. Has to be made out of straw bear yarn, the highest quality in the land. So, yeah, without doubt, we, we know what we have to do next. And uh, I think that's cool. And maybe it's quite good, actually, if an adventure game uh, has a kind of definitive direction in which we, we kind of know we have to go, rather than some others where you just left guessing for, like, several hours. Anyhow, I'm, I'm quite liking this here, so I will certainly be giving it a bit more coverage, I think. But, um, yeah, if you, if you guys would like to see more of this stuff here, or if you can recommend any other stuff, then I'd love to hear it. Put it all in the comments, please. But um, that is all for now. Uh, oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. This is by a developer called Studio Fitzbin. So, yeah, I'm not sure. One of these indie developers or something like this here. I will have to check out if they've done any more stuff. So, uh, yeah. But anyhow, guys, that is all for now. If you guys like this kind of stuff here, please consider hitting that like button. As it uh, is a big help putting the video up on the old YouTube charts. And if you want to see more of it, then please consider subscribing. As uh, it takes a second costs nothing and is a big help in uh, supporting the channel. Anyhow guys, this has been The Inner World. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.